It's a busy day ahead of her, and as you can imagine, her opponent, French Hill, is also very busy this morning. But our sister station, KRK, spoke with him earlier this morning. Hey, great to be with you. Yeah, the second congressional district is always a competitive district. I've worked hard over the last six years to represent all of our citizens here in central Arkansas, and I'm proud to be running for a fourth term, and I ask everybody's support today for those who didn't vote early and are now going to vote on election day. And for those voting today, talk a little bit about what you have accomplished in this seat in the past three terms. Well, our top, my top issue I've worked on is helping have a faster economic growth and more jobs and more opportunities. I've done that by cutting taxes for Arkansas families and Arkansas small businesses. I've done it by getting money for workforce education so that more people have opportunities to go to work, uh, whether they're right out of high school or after two years of college. Uh, so I focused on jobs for the most part for those six years, but I've also worked across the whole community to help our veterans. Over the past six years, I've gotten 20, over $20 million back in earned benefits for our veterans. So the past six years, I've focused on the economy, I've focused on our veterans, and I've also passed legislation that made Arkansas a better place. I expanded the Central High National Historic Site. I passed legislation to expand Flatside Wilderness Area in Perry County. And I've expanded uh, legislation that has opportunities, more opportunities for our veterans. And then Congressman Hill, everyone has been talking about how contested this race is. A very close one right now in the polls. Have you done anything different this time around when it comes to campaigning, getting out there and getting those votes? Well, I've worked hard to be innovative during the pandemic. We've done more on Facebook, more on social media, more through direct mail <clears throat> than we have in the past. And I've also spent a lot of time looking for creative ways to meet our constituents and our citizens where they are. So we've done a lot of trunk or treats this year across the seven counties and tried to see families when they're out with their kids. And that's been a great way to visit and see our families and hear what's on their mind.